In today's video, I will be talking about fake cryptocurrency wallets. Actually, I disclosed two of them, NEO and Tether wallet on Play Store. Don't worry, these apps are already removed from Play Store. I will show you the infiltration vector on my smartphone, how it looks like, what it does for the user, and I'll show you what you should do or what you should um, maybe look once you download this application. Then I will explain to you what's so bad and what's the functionality of these fake cryptocurrency wallets, compare them with legitimate ones and their functionality. Then we have a quick look into the code and how the app was actually created and how dangerous it could be. And I will finish this video with uh, tips you should probably follow if you're interested into installing apps or cryptocurrency apps from Play Store. Now let's move on to Infiltration Vector. For this demonstration video, I using actually Google's Pixel, connected it to my PC so I can mirror my screen um, for you. How a user can get infected really simply by searching for a Neo wallet. Actually, the first result is a malicious app. It has over 100 installs and it's available on Play Store since half of the October. Let's open the app. It wants to take pictures, probably to scan a QR code. And the user needs to either log in or sign up. Let's try to sign up. This um, uh, looks really trustworthy. Let's create some uh, nickname, some uh, random password, and sign up. <coughs> User interface looks really nice. Here is our account. Based on what I see, we can receive, send. You can see um, history of transactions. There is even support with a sand. Um, uh, what's the worst thing about or malicious functionality? I will explain right now and I will compare it with um, the legitimate cryptocurrency wallets. So the question is, what was so malicious about this application? It looked trustworthy. There is a QR code, you can send and receive coins and many other things. So now I will actually explain to you using a couple of slides. <laughs> On this slide, in this slide, I will explain functionality of legitimate cryptocurrency wallets. Once the user downloads wallet into his device, he needs to generate or create um, his wallet actually. What does it mean? By generating wallet, it creates public and a private key. Public key is responsible for a deposit of coins, private key for withdrawing. Simply put, public key you can share with the others, like QR code or the actual um, hash, with the others so they can send you cryptocurrency. Private key, the purpose of private key is to withdraw. If you have private key, you can withdraw or send your coins to some other wallets. If you don't have, you cannot. That's, this is simply put how cryptocurrency wallets works. Now I'll show you how this fake cryptocurrency works. They, you download application, you generate or sign in something that looks legitimate. Once you do that, there is no generation of public nor private key. There, are hard, there is hard-coded public key in the code and the user thinks that this public key is, actual, he, is actually his, but it's not, it belongs to the attacker. Once he sends any cryptocurrency to this public key, they belong to the attacker because the victim does not possess private key. The attacker has the private key. So all the sent cryptocurrencies to this application actually now belong to the attacker. And the same apply and the same principle applies to these two apps. Actually, I demonstrated that by creating two different accounts. As you can see, <clears throat> they have the same 
it's not really simple to see, but they, they have the same QR code. They even have, well, they have, they need to have the same address. The same thing is for a Tether. Two different accounts, same QR code. And what's the red flag once you open the app is that you need to search for your private key once you're in the app. If you can't find private key, there has to be some setting where you can see your private key. When there is none, you don't have the private key. So you, don't, you do not actually own the currency. It's really important. Now let's move on to code analysis. This code analysis will be really quick. I'll show you only the function that's responsible for copying the actual address. This is the NEO address or public key, public address that belongs to the, to the attacker. And it's, as you can see, it's hard coded. <laughs> the other thing I would like to stop by is that this application is actually created by Appy Builder. This is a service, free service available on the internet where anyone without any coding um, knowledge can create by drag and drop any simple application. So this is what concerns me because anyone with no coding skill can create such a fake application. It's really, really bad, really terrible. Now let me go and check the address on the Neo blockchain so we can see um, if there is or are any cryptocurrencies. Actually right now one Neo is worth of $16. On this address that belongs to the attacker, there are 16 NEOs. There were uh, 14 transactions. It's hard to say whether uh, these transactions or uh, this balance is from victims or not, or maybe an attacker sends some currency to this wallet. It's hard to say that. However, when I Googled for this wallet, I found one tweet someone actually posted this public address publicly and this way this public address is uh, connected with this tweet um, but hard to say in what way so there was some uh, free giveaway and one of the winners is the profile that actually posted attackers public address right now it's hard to say whether this this profile is um, uh, the one responsible for creating this fake application or uh, this profile actually is a victim that downloaded the app and now thinks that this public key is actually his and they posted it so they could send him um, this, this giveaway coins it's hard to say whether he's a victim or the attacker Now let's uh, move on to some tips for you before going to Play Store and downloading cryptocurrency wallet. Before downloading any cryptocurrency wallet from Play Store, always, always check review, developer, and mostly comments. In this case, you can see there are two comments suggesting that this application is most likely fake and uh, trust me i would not download any application that um, is actually performing actions with uh, my either cryptocurrency or uh, with my other funds when there is a comment uh, it's a scam don't use it it's a fake it's trying to steal my um, coins also if you're still not sure whether the app or whether, if there are no uh, no comments at all you can always check developers email address on google for it there's no web page that's fishy and also try to google for this application and um, a developer and if so if you can find um, any strings that delete 
to official service, Neo service. So you can see the service is connected with this application. And when there's a small number of installs, most likely it is not. So always rather stick with them highly downloaded popular legitimate applications. And the other thing, um, once you download this application and you cannot find private key inside the app, as I suggested in the beginning of the video, don't send any funds to that um, QR code to that public address because it's really possible that your funds could be stolen from you. So that's it for today. I show you how uh, I showed you how fake cryptocurrency wallets work. I even disclosed, demonstrated to you uh, what's the functionality, compare them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please hit like and subscribe button for more videos to come. Guys, see you in the next video. Bye.